Hello. My name's Chris Quinlan. Carrying on with the drum show, carrying on a little bit with the last episode. Now, um, what I'm talking about, or what I started the last episode, is classical percussion to a certain degree. What you have is huge bass drums. That's the first thing. Can I say that the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra bass drum, when I heard it, when they were doing Shostakovich back in 2006, blew my socks off. What a big, beautiful sound. Some huge, huge, uh, big bass sound it was and all that sort of stuff. Still have it, and uh, well, they still have it. And I wish I had it um, right behind me. <laughs> but anyway, um, great sounds. Uh, what happens is the rules get bent because when you're used to uh, normal drumming, When you get into classical percussion, uh, a few bets are off. You may just just do this. You try and get a melody from your cymbals. Right, left, right, left, left. And change it.
something. I could uh, do it retroactively and notate it out for you and um, put it in. Uh, and then it would become a substantial piece of music. That's what a lot of composers do, actually. They will um, literally improvise something and write it down. Mozart was famous for it. Such, the, such was his genius. He could, once upon a time, he was doing a cadenza or some such thing on piano during something, and one of the violinists just took a peek, and he was just <laughs> blank piece of paper, okay, just making it up as he went. And then later on went, oh, yeah, I did that bit, yep, that bit there, yep, 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 yep. Next thing you know, it became a piece of music sort of thing. So uh, interesting times, you know. As I said um, in the last episode, uh, when you're talking about people like John Cage, I didn't get to mention Karl Heinz Stockhausen, the German composer. He was more into electronics, but he did a lot of percussion as well. And um, he would uh, bring in a certain kind of improvisation or graphic scores, you know, just literally uh, do what you need to do or, or you know, follow, follow the contour of the music, so to speak, you know. Get busy here, get light there. Sometimes pointillistic things. A couple of episodes I did pointillism. Mentioned bands like Phantom S and Mike Patton who were involved in pointillism and stuff like that. And the German composer Anton Webern who was... Uh, big on his point, like short, sharp bits. So sometimes gr graphic scores are literally like little dots, just play busy, 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 and then a line just meaning like a roll, you know, like... Things like that. Seems I'm off again. Classical percussion, a lot of use, uh, there's a, a, a lot of instruments that are used like roto toms and concert toms, which are one-headed drums because you can tune the toms to actual notes. Not that you can't do it with two-headed drums. something out of that try to talk it through more after the break 